The pantry of most American families today is probably looking a lot different than it was just a few months ago, when grocery prices were lower and we could still find the majority of the products we usually rely on in our day-to-day -day lives. But now, shoppers are increasingly noticing the ongoing shortages at their favorite stores. With supply chain problems still impacting the production and delivery of goods and mass migrations of employees searching for better wages, resulting in labor shortages in the food sector, many of our favorite staple items are becoming harder to find. And that's especially true at Costco. In fact, new reports reveal that Costco warehouses are facing many different shortages and dozens of products are about to be discontinued. Costco customers are getting more and more frustrated as they see essential items disappearing from the store's shelves and start facing purchase limits once again. Today, we've decided to track some of the most severe product stockouts and also expose which items may disappear next. And buyers beware. A new wave of price increases may be coming as early as January 2023 according to Costco CFO Richard Galandi. We have a lot to cover in this video, but before moving on, please support our work with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. In recent months, American shoppers have been repeatedly reporting missing grocery items at their local Costco warehouse. But things seem to have taken a turn for the worse in October when several food products that were supposed to enter our food supply chains never arrived. We had a year of historical crop losses due to extreme weather conditions. The worst drought ever seen in this century resulted in some of the weakest harvest seasons in nearly five decades. The scorching temperatures also led our beef cow herd to rapidly shrink. As farmers sent the animals to slaughter earlier than they typically do to prevent them from dying of thirst and starvation amid dwindling supplies of water and cow feed. You also probably heard about the avian flu epidemic, which is not only leading to shortages of chicken, but also pushing poultry and egg prices to skyrocket. The result of all of these losses is now being seen at the stores in the form of empty shelves. Even major grocers like Costco are struggling to keep shelves fully stocked and announcing that in the coming months, many items will be discontinued. That's why we've decided to analyze data provided by Eat This, Not That, a leading news outlet in food, nutrition, and health, to track which are the most persistent grocery shortages at the retailer's locations and what items are about to go out of stock. We all know how it can be frustrating and inconvenient not to find what we're looking for at our local supermarkets. And according to our findings, one of the most common shortages at Costco stores are of meat and animal products. A survey of Costco customers conducted in September by the American Customer Satisfaction Index showed that since the beginning of the summer, finding bacon, pork, fish, and certain chicken cuts have been harder than usual. Constant stockouts of chicken thighs and drumsticks were actually on the top of the list. In some locations, the company is actually limiting fresh beef, pork, and poultry purchases to a total of three items per Costco member, following Kroger Company, which has put purchase limits on ground beef and fresh pork at some of its stores. In second place comes pet food shortages. Several brands were just nowhere to be found throughout most of the year, and customers specifically point to cat food shortages as the most acute ones. People are also noticing shortages of other pet supplies like puppy training pads and natural flavored treats. Many American shoppers are also experiencing frustration over being able to find their favorite fresh produce. The report highlighted that many of the usual fruits were not available in September or October, as well as some customers' favorite greens. Bare shelves in the section of dairy products were widely reported earlier this year it seems like they're back again. You may struggle to find different kinds of cheeses and cream cheese at Costco stores in the months ahead. According to several food retailers, smaller workforces at dairy plants are resulting in slower production and adding pressure on prices. On top of all that, 
Paper products and water bottles are also in short supply at Costco. The company imposed and lifted purchase limits on these items several times over the past couple of years. When these products fly off grocery shelves, many people feel like we might soon be reliving the nightmare of 2020 when panic buying depleted supplies at an unprecedented pace. Though it might not be as bad as before, it may be harder to get our hands on these items for a while. Russia is actually a major producer of wood pulp, a major ingredient used in the production of paper products and with the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. The world has lost a major supplier. And because of these shortages, many customers are noticing a spike in prices as well. According to Forbes, in October, overall grocery prices at Costco jumped by 4.4%. Adding to the horror of some shoppers, the company just announced that dozens of products are being discontinued over the next few months. This means that your favorite treats may disappear from the store and not come back. A new report from Eat This, Not That exposed that you may have to say goodbye to a wide range of treats that the retailer decided it will no longer sell. Those include khaki milk chocolate wafers, creative snacks, pumpkin spice yogurt pretzels, coastal cocktails, chocolate cocoa bombs, hoodies, cookies and cream trail mix, Mauna Loa macadamia variety pack, and more. The same is true for other sweets like Hal Diram Manpasan Delight, Vicente Diwali Holiday Tin, Bequit Celtic Sea Salt Caramel, and Heike Mini Cookies Chocolate Chip. Similarly, ready-to-eat salads like Taylor Farms Chicken Caesar Bowls and Everything Avocado Salad Bowls will no longer be sold at Costco. Several types of ice cream, blended beverages, baking mixes, and miscellaneous health foods will also be leaving the company's product catalog. This list will probably continue to grow, and on the retailer's website, you can check it out to see if your beloved treats are at risk of going away for good. Knowing that some of your favorite items are going to be discontinued is one of the most disappointing experiences as a grocery shopper. Why a beloved product has disappeared ranks as one of the most common questions customers ask stores. Retail executives and experts say that when a product isn't selling fast enough or is collecting dust on shelves, the companies need to switch to something else that customers will snap up. If you don't have high volume or growing volume, the costs of producing and handling a slow selling product are such that it doesn't make business sense, as explained by food industry expert Matt Sloan. During the pandemic, with demand sky high from customers stocking up on groceries, manufacturers halted production of many secondary products to make only their highest demand items. And even as demand eased this year and factories returned to running at more normal capacity, manufacturers still aren't making as wide a variety of items as they did before, Sloan explained. Food manufacturers are also coping with shortages of many ingredients due to a global slowdown in the production of several commodities. That's another reason why they're deciding not to keep producing certain items whose ingredients have become more difficult to source. Homo Foods, the maker of Skippy and Spam, Mondelez, which owns brands like Oreo, as well as Kraft Heinz and Coca-Cola, are among the companies that have said recently they're reducing the number of products they're selling to focus on their top performing ones. At the same time, it looks like purchasing limits are back with a vengeance. Even though measures like this are put in place at big box stores every now and then, it seems like Costco is using this strategy far more frequently since the pandemic started. Ever since then, though, Costco have widened its range of limits. Now, protein shakes, coffee, sugar, canned foods have also made it to the list. On Reddit, one Costco shopper said they normally buy 10 to 15 at a time to supply their business, but now they're only able to buy two. Another took a picture of a sign at the produce aisle that said, Due to unexpected circumstances, we will have supply constraints on various food items. We have temporarily put a limit one on all pet food to allow as many members to purchase product as possible. 
We apologize for the inconvenience, read another sign. Parents also pointed out that they can only buy a certain amount of baby formula at the retailer stores right now. On social media, the company said it's working to ensure supplies, but right now about 30% of the most popular brands of baby formula are all sold out. In addition to purchase limit signs on items in the warehouse, Costco is also protecting its supply of online items. When searching the warehouse website for limit, we found dozens of items ranging from active dry yeast at five per member, to almond flour at one per member, to acetaminophen at one per member, several types of wild canned tuna at one per member, mac and cheese at 10 per member, to soy milk at two per member, and many more. In a recent interview, Costco CFO Richard Galanti recently admitted that virtually all departments are impacted by short supplies, and it looks like warehouses are seeing these firsthand. That's why they're enforcing limits to protect their inventory. One of the things that make Costco shoppers so devoted is the cost of a membership. Costco offers an array of bulk grocery items for fair prices, but it's safe to say that the company wasn't immune to the impact of rising inflation. And if you're wondering whether Costco items will have an even higher price tag in 2023, the answer is yes. Even though it was widely reported earlier this year, that the warehouse club wasn't raising prices, that's not really what Galanti said in the recent press release. Certainly, as we've increased members' fees historically about every five, five and a half years, we've turned around and used it to drive more value, he said. And whenever we do it, we'll do that. I think at the end of the day, it's, and I also want to point out, of course, if you look at the last three increases on average, they were five years and seven months apart. If you look at June of 17, plus five years and seven months, you're talking roughly January 23. That's not Galanti saying a price increase won't happen. He's actually pretty much guaranteeing that it will. Costco will spend more to procure the items they sell in 2023. As a result, They'll likely pass those added costs on to consumers in the form of higher prices. And our view is, we are confident in our ability to do so. And at some point, we will, but it's a question of when, not if, Galanti added. I mean, it is unprecedented times, he said. On Thursday, Costco shares moved lower after the bulk discount retailer reported weaker than expected November sales admit what could be a broader pullback in consumer spending over the final months of the year. Costco said sales for the four weeks ending on November 27th, which included Black Friday, were 2% lower than expected and nearly 50% lower than they were a year ago. Retailers haven't been able to catch a breath these days. The environment for most businesses remains tough. And as this downturn accelerates, they will continue to see their bottom lines getting hurt. And the same will be true for our personal finances.